Alrighty, so we are back here to continue our work with Microsoft Excel um, and doing different calculations and manipulation of data. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at biodiversity and the two biodiversity equations that we can have um, Excel help calculate for us based on given data. So in this document here, which I've posted for you to use, um, we have colored pencil biodiversity, we're calling it. And basically what it is is just some numbers of, let's see, the different colored pencils that I had in this jar in my desk here. 9 blue, 6 green, 3 orange, 4 black, 5 yellow, 1 white, 7 purple, 5 red, and 2 beige. Now what we're going to assume is that each color is its own species of colored pencil, um, and together they make a total. Um, now things we're going to need to uh, do this today is we're going to need to understand these two equations on the right. In the reading you've done previously, this all should have been explained to you. We should note that H up here is the Shannon Wiener Index, um, and D is the Simpsons um, diversity index. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Excel to do calculate both these numbers for us on our data so we don't have to do it ourselves. Um, first thing we're going to need to know is just to recall that n sub i in these two equations is the number of individuals. For let's say blue, the number of individuals is 9. For orange, the number of individuals is 3. So on and so forth. To big N is the total number of species. That would be all these numbers added up. So that should be the first thing we calculate here quickly. And if you remember how we add these all up, Okay, we could plug in each of the boxes individually, right, and down here, or we could highlight all of them, oh, highlight all of them, and click auto sum, which is what we're going to do. Okay, so 42, 42 is my total number of species, and I'm going to label that n. Well, let's label it down here so we have it set away. n equals 42. Okay, so good. Now, I'm going to want one column to calculate my h and one column to calculate the d value. Now. If you recall, this sigma guy, this big sigma here, means sum of. So what I want to do is kind of like cover up this portion and just look at this back half here. n sub i over n, natural log n sub i over n. What we want to do is enter this portion of the equation and then have Excel add up the total for each number. Right? So in this box here, we're going to use this to calculate our h value, let's say. So this will be, we'll call this h calc. And now first box. Now, disregarding this negative and then sum of section, we're going to look here at the back half. So n sub i, remember n sub i is the total number of a given species, in this case, this box here. So what we're going to do is set equals, because we're going to want to do an equation. Okay? We're going to select n sub i. But now what we should really do is use parentheses here, because things can get fuzzy real quick. So we're going to open parentheses. We're going to select n sub i, this box here. And we want to divide it by, right, divide it by the total number, which we will select here, okay? And we'll close our parentheses. Now, we want to take this number and multiply the natural log, okay? LN stands for natural log. So we will type in L, okay, and then N. And if you notice, natural log pops up. So you just have to select that, okay? It's like a special function, okay? So we're going to do LN, okay? I think I might have clicked out of it here. So LN, okay? LN, there you go, make sure it's capitalized. And then I want LN of the same thing I just did. So C4 divided by the total, close parentheses. Okay? Hit enter. And you may get this box here. Okay? We didn't type in any multiplication symbol or anything. So it's just assuming it's going to go in there for us where, wa where we want it right there. And that's okay, that's where we do want it. So you can just hit yes. Okay? And we get a number here. Okay, the numbers should be small. They should be less than one. Okay, now I want to repeat the same equation here and then all the way through this, but I don't want to type it every time. What I can do is select the box for blue, which already has the equation in it, until I get this cross here in the corner and pull it down. Click and pull it down and include all the colors. If I do that in release, okay, um, let's see here what's happened. Nope. All right, we do that in release and it should have done the whole equation. But if we click this box, if you see here, we have C5 divided by C14. Okay. We don't want C14. C14 would be this box here. We want it to keep at C13, right? So we just have to go in now and just change that 13 portion on each instead of retyping the whole thing. Okay. We should get better values. And we just have to go through. We have to do that to each one, which is annoying. There's a way to stop that from happening. But for right now, don't worry about it. Because what I'd rather you do is just go through the process of checking all your work, making sure it's correct. Um, 
there's a reading on advanced Excel, and if you pick that reading up on the main web page, it'll kind of tell you some different techniques you can use. This doesn't have to happen. Um, we can just go through this quickly. Okay, we're getting numbers. Now, this is far quicker than we'd have to do in our calculator, and we're pretty much about 30 seconds away from having a final answer here. Okay, this is going to be 13 also. Same over here. All right, we got one box to go. So 13 and 13. And there we are. Okay, so now we have values, H values for this, you know, the right hand side of this equation, so everything right of the summation sign. Summation means we want to add them up. We want to take the negative sum. Okay, so once again, we're going to highlight all these. We want sum, so highlight them all and go click on auto sum again. And here up in here, the top right. That gives me a value, negative 2.05984. But notice that in my equation it's the negative sum. So what I want to do is click in this box here, and before the word sum, just put the negative symbol. That'll change this to a positive number. And now that is our h value. So we now have an h, a Shannon Wiener index value, of, oh, of 2.05984. Oh, let's call it six for argument's sake. All right? That's on a 7.0 scale. From our reading, we should kind of know what that means. Okay? Now, the other thing we want to do is calculate the D value. So let's do our D calculation here. Okay? Now, once again, in this one, we're concerned about the things that are to the right of the summation. And what we have here is n sub i multiplied by n sub i minus one divided by the total number okay, times the total number minus one. So let's go here. This one minus sum total we're not going to wear ourselves with. So click into our box here in the G4 box, hit the equal sign, and let's go to work here. So you need parentheses. Now this work gets confusing because we need double parentheses here to make sure we keep everything in order. So double parentheses, okay, two sets. Oh, actually just one set for now. Sorry, we're going to end with two sets. N sub i we need. So we need this guy again, okay? Now he's going to get multiplied by his, the same thing, minus one. Now close both sets. We're going to divide that, okay, open parentheses again, the total number, 42, okay, times 42 minus 1. Close both sets. Hit enter, we should get a number. Oh, what do we do here? Um, let's see, we have a problem along the way some way. Let's try to enter some multiplication symbols maybe to help our little computer out here. Let's try that now. Ah, much better. Okay. So all I did was go back and enter multiplication symbols after the C4 and the C13 to tell me the computer I wanted to multiply those things. All right. Now, same way, um, I can drag this through the rest as I did before. Okay. Now, I don't want that bottom box there, just through beige. Okay. And I'm going to have the same problem again. So here we go. We just need to change these to 13s. Okay. Um, once again, for argument's sake, we're just going to do it this way. Um, we could make those things stationary, but I think that's something that's probably a little beyond us right now and maybe a few too many things at once. So I'd much rather um, you just go through and change it this way. Um, if you want to use those other readings to help yourself out, that's fine. Okay, but this will get you the right answer every time. It also helps you go through and you can see how kind of Excel is working with our value. Oh, what do we have there? Oh, all right. Um, remember, so zero there. Uh, the reason I was hesitant is because I saw the zero right away. The zero makes sense because there's only one white, so you're subtracting from one, you know, one minus one obviously can give you a zero. I'm going to pop that up there. Okay. And you know, very quickly here in a second, we're going to be done with all our calculations much quicker than if we were using our calculator, that is for sure. So we're going to enter that. Okay, we need a sum again. So let's get the sum. Okay, and now my last thing to do is remember that for D it's one minus the sum, so I need to go back in this box here, go to my fun formula bar, type in one minus, hit enter, and that is my D value. So I have a D value of 0 0.88153. Yeah, let's call it one five. All right, and now very quickly and efficiently, I've calculated both the H and the D values for my biodiversity index um, of my color pencils. Um, what I like to do is, um, after you've done this, 
use those skills we learned in the first lesson to kind of clean us up a bit, maybe organize a little better, add some bolding, some underline, things like that. Okay, organize your information. And then what you're gonna do after this is go use your parking lot data that you're going to collect for cars and calculate the H and the D, the Simpsons and the Shannon Wiener Index for the parking lots of the school. Um, we're gonna need to both do this for the student lot and the teacher lot. Okay, and that'll be completely done on your own now, but feel free to reference this video or any of the other videos for help. Okay? The document for that, for the um, parking lot biodiversity lab, can be found online, along with the instructions, um, and a sample Excel sheet just to get you started. All right, good luck.